What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon and today we are checking out the Renegade EDC Gungnir. So this knife has been floating around Instagram for a bit now and I'm really excited and grateful to have this prototype in my hands. Now this knife was designed by my buddy Chris aka Renegade EDC. This man is literally the jack of all trades when it comes to the EDC realm. I featured him a few times on the channel. If you guys don't remember, he makes Hanks, he does leather goods. He's now looking into making beeswax candles, and now he has a knife design under his belt. Gungnir is not for sale right now. Just go to the link in the description below, and I will leave the link to get email updates on this awesome design. I believe reservations are gonna start happening in July, so guys, make sure that you stay up to date. I will also leave Chris's Instagram information in the description so you guys can go ahead and give him a follow and then see if you can get more updates that way as well. So let's go ahead and talk about Gungnir. This is a knife that is completely out of my comfort zone. It is just absolutely ginormous. And the first time I actually flicked this thing open, it was just huge. To give you guys a quick example, here is the Benchmade bug out next to Gungnir. And then the Spyderco Para 3. Just look at the sheer size of this thing. So yeah, it's definitely out of my comfort zone. You guys know that I wear a lot of athletic apparel, whether it be basketball shorts or sweatshirts shorts but surprising enough this thing is actually a little bit different in pocket than versus when it's actually deployed the cool thing about this specific design is Chris actually made it very slim line so it's pretty slender in the pocket even though it's pretty heavy it actually doesn't take up a ton of pocket real estate now guys the only EDC folder that can possibly compare to Gungnir is going to be the Cold Steel 4 Max Scout so the 4 Max Scout literally gets no pocket time I don't even have a pocket clip on it just because of how how thick it is like I don't carry this thing it stays in the house and I use it for really robust tasks now just check out the handle difference between the 4 Max Scout and Gungnir Gungnir is just very slender and sleek this knife is actually going to be produced by Riot and if you guys have ever handled a Riot knife then expect that type of action now the action of this knife is just super unique just look at how big that knife is if you really want to just be the biggest dude in the room then you'll want to carry this knife it's super smooth and it doesn't fire with authority but more so elegance it's also a complete guillotine so um, basically it's a fall shut without fail type of action when you go to close the knife now you do have two means of deployment. You've got the flipper tab here, and then also this milled out fuller. On this prototype version, it does not have a full cut through fuller. That is gonna be changed on the final production, but basically you can spidey flick this without any problem whatsoever. So yeah, guys, it is super fun to fidget with. It's super drop shot friendly, and it has one of the smoothest actions I've ever felt in a full size EDC knife like this one. Now in terms of materials, Chris did decide to go with M390 blade steel you've got an insane hollow grind here so this thing is absolutely slicey i do love the sheep's foot style blade there are titanium bolsters as well as black micarta inlays there's also a milled out titanium pocket clip and i believe that chris is going to be doing a wire pocket clip version as well so this thing is made with really good premium materials so looking at the knife from a top view, you have some jimping here on the blade spine, and then you do also have this really nice titanium backspacer. It does have a lanyard loop built in. So for those of you guys that are lanyard users, then you can easily add one of those to this beast. Now, Chris did add in this Ford finger choil, so you can really choke up and get into those more precise cuts. Now, like I said before, I can fit my hands around this large knife, no problem. Now I did have one gripe with this knife and that would be the pocket clip. Um, it's a little bit tight and I wish that it was just a little bit taller, but I believe if you guys go with the wire pocket clip variants, you guys won't have a problem. My buddy MB Wild on Instagram actually handled the wire pocket clip version of Gungnir and he swapped in a Lynch aftermarket pocket clip. It looks like it would just solve all those issues that I had. I know Chris is gonna be making some changes to this pocket clip. So once I get the full production one in hand, I'll give it its full review. Now, the one thing that impressed me the most is gonna be the actual sound it produces. Let me be quiet for a second and just hear this thing. It has a really unique sing to it. When you go to deploy this knife, it sounds like you're literally pulling a sword out of a sheath. 
And that was the number one thing that just really hit me hard and made this thing super fidget friendly. I'm really happy with what Chris has done to this knife. It's been great to handle. It's gonna go off to the next person. So far, I highly recommend adding Gugnir to most of your guys' knife collections, but I am definitely gonna be purchasing one of these because it is literally the only large EDC knife that I will carry. Aside from that, guys, there is the Renegade EDC Gugnir. I'll give you guys a full review and my full impressions once I get the production version in hand. If you guys enjoyed this knife content and would like to see more, feel free to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell icon so you know when that next video is live. Thank you guys so much for spending your time with me today and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.